Okay guys, so this is the big reveal. Uh, Danny's just going to open up now. Okay, so this is the car guys. This is a 97, um, what they will call by us Honda Ballard. Um, it's also, um, in other countries, they're also known as Civic Ferio. Ferio obviously meaning sedan. Yo my dudes, welcome back to another video. Um, so I am excited to announce that I am starting a new build series um, or what I'm going to call a before and after series. So the reason for me actually calling it uh, before and after is because I'm not really going to kind of uh, do the whole review vibe. I'm going to actually try to show you guys uh, a few builds. Uh, it might be one of you guys builds as well. Um, what I am going to try to show is a before and after of your build. So I had actually gotten the opportunity to film a car that, um, how can I say, needs a full respray. The full respray will be done by Dane. So um, in a previous video, I actually showed you guys a sneak peek of me actually giving my petrol cap to Dane, which he then went to go match. And the customer requested the car to be the exact same color like mine. So what I'm going to do on the series is show you guys from the beginning when the car um, is all asphalt and uh, has a lot of sunburn on i'll show you guys a walk around on the full car of what the car kind of looks like right now and take you guys through the whole process of how the car is going to be made um, perfect in, in a sense so i'll take you guys along when dane does the sanding and maybe gives an explanation as how he removes the dents etc and then at the end i'll show you guys um, the full product when the car is all done so that is a series that I am going to start. Be in mind that um, this is not uh, the only call that I'll be doing. I'll be doing uh, maybe small uh, before and afters. Like say for example, you have a standard car, you fit an exhaust. Um, then I film before um, it doesn't have exhaust on and then after when it does have exhaust on. That is kind of uh, something that I would like to do going forward on the channel. Um, that is just like maybe more my scene. I like more the, the bold factor of a, of a car. Um, so yeah, that is what we do have planned. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch over to um, when we did the rear bumper diffuser. Because after that I went straight to Dane and then I basically filmed a, a walk around around the car. So I'm just going to cut over to that video. Okay guys, so before I do reveal the new before and after car that I'll be filming, I did fail to mention that there's another exciting thing that happens in this video. Um, so what happened was, I noticed that Dane had a fender laying around um, and he offered to give it to me, which now means that I have a blank canvas for me to recreate my fenders for you guys. So that is something that I do plan on doing in future, recreating my fenders or creating a version 2 for you guys as well. Another exciting thing that also happened is that Dane did uh, mention that he is willing to spray the bumper for Tarek as well. So we're just waiting for Tarek to get his uh, petrol cap so we can match the color and then spray his bumper. So you guys will have the full effect of me basically creating a Wong spec um, bumper, fitting a concept sport rear bumper diffuser and then obviously Dane spraying the car. So that will basically be a full video of what you guys can do by me or through me all in one house. So I'll show you guys the full video obviously of me fitting the bumper as well and showing you guys um, the whole car with the bumper and all the accessories on it as well. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's cut to that video. Flashback. Okay guys, so this is the big reveal. Uh, Dan is just going to open up now. Okay, so this is the car guys, this is a 97, um, what they will call by us Honda Ballard. Um, it's also, um, in other countries, they're also known as Civic Ferio, Ferio obviously meaning sedan. So this is a B16 VTEC, 
um, it has a few ads like I think um, um, I think it has a stack on etc I'll just give you guys a full walk around also then is going to open a bonnet be in mind guys that this is um, this car is going to be fully resprayed by Dane so this is also what the engine may looks like obviously it has a velocity stack um, this velocity stacks are more it's much more different to mine to my understanding if you're running these uh, these do create a little bit more heat uh, than the 3d printed one that I have um, the cool thing of these stacks usually is that because it's metal uh, and sound echoes from here so it actually makes a, a lot of noise but however the one that I'm running is uh, poly um, 3d printed so with polyurethane it actually um, how can I say pushes heat away uh, what I also just noticed or picked up is that he actually has BCs as well so the same BCs like I have obviously you can set it on low and high um, with, obviously that's a dampening setting skunk to tap it cover and I also see it has a dove spec um, dove spec uh, radiator so for you guys that do not know dove spec I'll maybe just link his information in the description as well he is local so he's from South Africa he also creates his own parts these are one of the parts that he does create passport uh, not passport is it password um, accessories on here anything else Dane that I'm missing okay so there's hash port engine mountings if I'm not mistaken so I'll just show you guys that over here and then also he just has a skunk to um, sock okay then also guys I'll just give you guys a walk around on the car um, you can actually see the color kind of turns um, pinkish over here uh, majority of the work that's needed you can see is on the roof and on the bonnet as well a lot of sunburn but on the side to be honest it kind of looks pretty good and I am excited that he's actually going to use my exact color um, also guys I have um, a lot of guys that has countlessly asked me for my engine not my engine my color code I'm not quite sure what the color code is it's not Milano red you can actually see this is kind of more Milano red it's a more darker color mine somehow has a little bit of maroon in it and mine is the original color going to the back um, I see that it does have some semi clears I can immediately pick up that this car has been standing in the sun because oh, the only damage is done is surface or on the top like I mentioned on the roof as well as on the bonnet okay then he's also running a tow bar and that's his tail piece over there one thing I have picked up the car has a very nice interior without me actually entering the car I could see um, I could pick up immediately original seats um, besides this over here it's a little bit damaged but this is original seats um, how I can tell is that the VTEX has these dots over here I've actually seen a few guys that um, when, when they redo the seats they go full up till here which is obviously incorrect this is the proper way and the proper VTEC seats and you can even smell that it has that VTEC leather smell um, so yeah this is the interior another thing that you would pick up on an old spec old spec has completely orange dials where I think um, new spec has white with the orange um, needle okay so this is basically the car very nice interior I must say I wouldn't change anything else besides this over here I did inform Dane that if uh, the owner of this car does want to do a few uh, mods like maybe a CS um, shifter you can make contact with him and we can maybe assist him seeing that um, I am going to try to show this car on the channel and the process on it okay my dudes so this is also a fender that I just saw that Dane has laying around over here for you guys that do not know this is a EK uh, driver side fender you might be thinking why am I just showing you a random broken fender this is some very good news for a lot of you guys that are uh, interested in um, my vents along the side my fender vents uh, my Edo fender vents so for you guys that do not know that fenders are actually functional it helps with uh, brake temperature 
as well as if you do decide to drill a hole um, in the engine bay it can help with your engine temperature as well so this fender is a driver side fender and what i do plan on doing is cutting this up basically creating the fender like it should be and then cutting the whole thing apart and this will then how can i say be um, the mock-up or this will be used to basically recreate my fenders in fiberglass i was going to use my own fender but um, doing some research a lot of people told me that it might affect my paint etc so this is actually uh, good news for a lot of you guys especially international guys that always keep on asking me where do i buy the fender or what type of fender it is that fender was created by me and i will now be basically creating it for you guys like i mentioned um, concept sport as well as myself we do want to create parts affordable parts that are influenced by um, america or japan or edm all those type of parts we want to recreate for you guys at affordable prices and then you guys can add that look to as well so this is some very good news um if you guys do have a left hand or how can i say a passenger side fender it can be damaged i don't mind it being damaged over year to over year but as long as this section is okay over here please make contact with me you will be assisting everyone by basically um how can i say helping me get another fender and then we can recreate um my fenders for all of you guys uh just another thing i want to mention why i am using an ek one as well eks are more common in south africa and uh, there's also slight difference as you guys can see over here this line flows over here um, on a eg there's basically no line so i kind of want to flow it across here and then right over here so that is basically what i am going to do over here there is a lot of guys that has attempted to recreate my fenders and i haven't seen much of them that were done correctly or like i would say to wong spec so what i'm going to try to create is the wong spec fender for you guys so that you guys can have the exact mock-up or the exact uh, replica of my fenders so yeah guys this is some good news for for you as well and that is what you guys can look forward to um, on the channel so if you do like what we are about to do please do give this video a thumbs up it does really help with my video okay guys so i just have to point out something that i just noticed right now uh dan did mention that um the owner of this car is a subscriber but just check this out guys um he did the exact same thing that i did uh, on michael's car as well as you guys can see here uh, he put uh, the large h on uh, the old spec um grill so yeah <laughs> he's definitely a subscriber i do see a lot of guys actually watching the channel and um mimicking what i am doing on the channel as well and i think it's pretty cool so what i suggested that dane does do with the grills maybe just color code um the silver as well and then we can just freshen up this as well i'm going to try to um do a few mods on my end as well if he is interested i did mention maybe we can fit a, a concept sport um shifter but yeah um, also would like you guys opinion um, what griddle do you guys suggest we should run this is a civic griddle so you guys can see uh, there's only one line across and the ballard i think has three lines across so maybe just comment down below um, what griddle do you guys suggest we do run on this um, ek okay guys so what i'm also going to do now is just give you a walk around on what all needs to be done uh, to the car before i do that um i see that he has some some cool um old spec um fogs as well someone actually asked me for a set um but anyway moving forward um he is going to replace the headlights and then obviously this is a lot of stone chips over here um this is a dent over here that needs to be fixed and some touch up um uh, touch up paint over here as you guys can see there's a dent over here and then there's also a lot of touch up uh, marks over here i'm not quite sure how this could have happened might have uh, driven very close to a tree or something and scratched the whole car that's just an assumption that i'm making 
However, let's continue. Here's another dent over here. And then a lot of sunburn, scratches, and I think there's a dent somewhere over here. Um, this bumper obviously also needs to be fixed. Um, Dane, just a question over here. This is, is this plastic welded or what's the, what's the story here? I think we cube it. So this has been cube on and you have to now fully repair it. And you, what, what do you, what do you plan on doing uh, here? Will the sand down? Yeah. Okay, so. I probably have to re-plastic weld it. Or we replace. I have the original old spec bumper. So you have original old bumper as well. Okay, so that needs to be fixed and then um, some massive yeah. alignment that needs to be done here. Obviously his petrol cap is off. Um, this is his petrol cap. You can guys see immediately how dark this is compared to my color I think. Mm. So my petrol cap is still at uh, the place that's going to mix the paint. And then obviously I get my, um, my petrol cap back. Okay, so just let's continue as well. Um, okay, so what is that? A very deep scratch. And then as you guys can see here, some more scratches. So, I don't know. I'm not quite sure if I'm still sticking to it. Whether he drove through a forest and <laughs> uh, a lot of scratches. Or this could possibly be someone's gene. Definitely someone's gene. If we're looking at um, the lens, that could possibly be someone's gene that scratched over here. Moving on. Uh, some more touch-ups over here, over here, and obviously um, the sunburn over here. So guys, um, Dane also informed me that um, there's no other changes going to be made. There's no any, there's no color code, nothing. The, co the car is going to be sprayed um, the exact same color as mine. Obviously using um, my petrol cap, um, what Dane might just do is the beadings, etc. He might just uh, spray it. Do you use satin black? satin black so it just gives it a little bit of a more fresh look so yeah guys um this is one of uh, the cars that i am going to show on the channel and show you guys the process on how um or basically a before and after thinking of it right now that is what i'm going to call it so this is a new series that i'm starting and i'm going to call it <laughs> before and after so yeah um like i also mentioned I have a lot of friends that are car enthusiasts and I have a lot of friends that have plans going forward with their cars. None of these builds are actually mine. I might um, play a role in actually changing a few things or assisting. But this is me kind of showing you guys uh, what, what your car, how you can change your car. And also at the same time um, showing a lot of businesses um, or exposing a lot of businesses that do these type of things. For example, like Dane right now, he's going to do this car. If you guys are happy with the outcome uh, that Dane has done, then you guys can contact him as well. So yeah, guys, this is a little bit, this is going to be a short video, just an introduction of what I do have planned for you guys as well. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.